this morning, we are going to talk about cedarwood. And cedarwood is the oil that um, you can get free with 125 um, point um, loyalty order this month. And it is just a great oil for so many things. Mm -hmm. There's lots of types of cedar trees, but all are coniferous <laughs> from the cypress family. The red cedar tree, let's see which way I can advance this slide. <laughs> Okay, the red cedar tree, um, the red cedar tree is what this is a picture of. So it's gigantic. And it's got, it, it's got lots of branches that look like they go out, a lot of them go out really parallel. But the red cedar tree is able to withstand extreme climates and can tolerate most soil types. This ability may come from the cold high altitude climates where cedar trees are natively from. Depending on the soil conditions, the tree can reach anywhere from 16 to nearly 100 feet high. It is also a species with unusually long lifespan. Catch this, some trees are 900 years old. doTERRA cedar wood comes from the wood of the species Juniperus virginiana, more commonly known as the red cedar. Um, and it's great for the, the aroma. Um, doTERRA sources theirs. Let me look here really quick. Actually, I can't get my, I can't get two pages to separate. Um, they, um, doTERRA sources it from the Southeast United States. So um, that's kind of cool. So it's been um, used a lot historically. You probably all heard of the cedars of Lebanon. Lebanon, um, that's thought to be one of the first essential oils extracted from nature. The Sumerians regarded the cedar tree to be the tree of life. Ancient tribes believed God held the energy of the cosmos in the cedar and that the wood was sacred, gifting those worthy with power, greatness, and immortality. The Egyptians used it with their embalming rituals. The Phoenicians and Assyrians even used cedar to build fleets of ships. So it's, um, it's a great oil to, to be aware of and know and stuff. So that cedar wood is the oil of community. And this is one of the things that I find it interesting and, and great that doTERRA is um, providing this for us right now is I think probably a lot of you are the same as me and you miss being with friends and you miss being um, around um, around others and just being able to visit and talk and have feel that sense of community. So cedarwood can help. Cedarwood brings people together to experience the strength and value of community. It inspires the feeling of belonging and assist the heart um, in opening to receive the love and support of other people. It assists in opening the awareness of individuals to the support system that is already available to them, such as friends or family that have been overlooked. Sometimes do you forget about, um, do you just forget about people, forget that there are people there that want to help you, you get focused on the here and now, um, and focus on, for me, giving, having a pity party and feeling bad for myself. Um, and forget, you know, forget maybe about a friend that you were so close with 10 years ago. I've had some times where I've reconnected with some people from, from my early married days or whatever, and it was so good and so healing just to be able to visit with them and to reconnect. So think about people that you haven't um, connected with recently and people that are there for you that you maybe don't stop and think about. Um, and cedarwood can help you remember those people. So cedarwood has a cal grounding, calming effect on the nervous system. You can diffuse to relax the mind and body after a stressful day. If a child wakes up scared, apply to the bottom of their feet to help them 
get calmed down. It helps bring people together to create a sense of community and healthy relationships. It helps people feel strong and confident in themselves, being well rooted, but also are open to the, opening their hearts to others. So cedarwood is just a great oil. And wait till you hear all the physical things it can do for you. So the negative um, emotions are the inability to form social bonds, loneliness, feeling separate from the human family and antisocial. The positive things that it can bring to us is helping us feel emotionally connected, belonging, supported, um, creating social bonds, being sociable and being community or oriented. So those are all just, you guys know I love the emotional aspects of the oil. So the top properties of this oil is it's an antifungal, anti-infectious, antiseptic, astringent, diuretic, insect repellent, and sedative. So it's got a lot of great properties and just looking at the properties, you can tell a lot of what, what it does for you. So, um, so some of the primary benefits and some of the things that you can use it for is when you get dry, itchy skin that blisters or cracks um, or uh, other things, let there be light. You can see my face now. Um, eczema is really good. You can add it to your um, skin lotion or soap. You can add it with fractionate coconut oil and just massage it on places that um, you have this problem. For some reason, on my hand right here, that's something that I had to have frozen off. But right here, then my hand has been just cracking and I'll, it'll go through spots where it's just so dry and it's cracking open. And since I've been doing this and reviewing this, now I will um, start using some cedar wood on it because I had forgotten about that. That's one of the great things about doing these product spotlights for me and hopefully for you also is that I, I taught this about this oil several years ago. And so I've known this, but my sweet brain <laughs> isn't all there anymore. And I forget about a lot of the things that the oils will do. And so that's one of the great things about um, that I feel like and the benefits that I get from um, doing these spotlights. So another one is if you've got thinning hair or hair loss. Um, I've got a spot on my head right here that I've had a thing with um, some possible skin cancer and with the treatment of it, it has made it my skin fall or my hair fall out. So I've got big time um, hair loss up there. So this is another one that is really good. Cedar wood um, seems to stimulate the hair follicles and increase circulation to the scalp. It contributes to hair growth and may slow hair loss. Um, you can, so this is an, a mixture of oils and write this down because it's not gonna be on any of the handouts that I give you. Um, there's evidence that applying cedar wood with the essential oils of thyme, rosemary, and lavender to the scalp improves, improves hair growth in up to 44% of the people with hair loss. And this is not an overnight thing. This, the testing that they did was after seven months of treatment. Um, so you can combine all those, you can just add those to your shampoo um, or conditioner, or you can make yourself a mixture of them and massage them into your scalp with a carrier, carrier oil and let it sit for 30 minutes before rinsing. Me personally, I probably won't think of it 30 minutes before I get in the shower. So I, I've already added rosemary to my shower, but I'm gonna go back and add the cedar with the thyme and the lavender. And a friend that I told about this a couple of years ago when I taught this, um, she has been using this combination of oils and her hair was really thin. And it is now, it's not heavy, thick, like you'd have a hard time getting it, you know, like if you put it in a ponytail, the ponytail would be this big. 
Um, but it is, I bet she has twice as much hair now as she did when she started doing this and maybe even three times as much. So um, that is a really good thing. It's good for your hair, but it's also good for um, dry scalp. So you can massage it on and it will help um, a dry or flaky um, scalp. Um, when you have joints that get swollen and are really, really painful uh, and make it hard to use your joints, you can use cedar wood and it can be helpful in this a lot because it's an anti-inflammatory. Um, it is a natural deodorizer. It has sedative and calming effects. It's a great oil. If you have a blend that you make for um, helping you sleep, cedarwood is a great one to add into it. If you find yourself retaining a lot of water, then you can use cedarwood as a diuretic. You can um, diffuse it. Um, you can, cedarwood you can use topically and um, aromatically, but do not take it internally. So how many people besides me have trouble focusing and are, I heard this someplace and it describes me perf perfectly. How many of you suffer from the squirrel syndrome that you start doing this and then you go over here and then you dart over here and then you dart back there? Yeah, that's me. So cedar wood can um, help you focus and um, help if you have um, children that have a hard time focusing and just move a lot and have a lot of uh, time. It is a great bug repellent. It is especially effective with ants, ticks, and fleas. So you can dilute the oil and water to spray on your skin as a natural bug spray to keep them away outdoors. It's a great one to add into um, if you're making yourself a bug repellent mix, like with lemon, eucalyptus, and citronella, and arborvitae, and terra shield. You can add, I'm pretty sure cedarwood is the one. I've told you, I've made an augmented, um, bug, an augmented um, terra shield and cedarwood is one of the ones I added in there. Um, if you have problems with moths eating your clothes, then um, put, the, um, put cedarwood on cotton balls and place them in your, hang, um, in your closet or on your hangers or inside storage boxes. It is really um, effective. The essential oil is really effective in keeping them away. It um, is great at helping to relieve tension and stress. Um, it is an antifungal um, and partially because of that, when you get unsightly um, things appearing on your face, this is another oil. There's been a whole bunch that we can use to help with this, but you can use it to help um, promote healthy skin. So you can just dot it on your imperfections or you can add it to your um, face cream to do it. So precautions are um, dilution is recommended because there's a possible skin sensitivity. And something that I've noticed is sometimes I can use an oil for X amount of time and it doesn't bother me at all, but then I will start to develop a skin sensitivity and that is very normal. So just start diluting it, or if you put it on and you're getting a uncomfortable reaction, then put on fractionated coconut oil. If you don't have your fractionated coconut oil handy, you can put on butter, you can put on Crisco, you can put on olive oil. Um, so you can, uh, you know, just dilute it and it will take away that skin sensitivity. And if that happens once, then always um, dilute it before you put it on topically. You can um, always test for skin sensitivity prior to widespread use and use on the feet when possible. Um, and always keep out of your eyes, ears, and nose. All right, so one of the things I'm going to send you is I'm gonna send you this, um, I hate having to do this backwards because I don't do very well at it. I'm going to send you this great handout that tells you fun facts and gives you ideas and everything. But I also, when I taught this class before, I ended up with three pages of, of cool recipes. And so I'm going to include all these recipes. Um, one of the things that it helps with is 
you can make a restless leg syndrome massage blend. So that is something that helps me. But there's there's a lot of different um, there's a lot of really cool diffuser recipes and recipes that you can use for all sorts of different things. So I'm going to include these with the handout that I teach you. Okay, so now we are going to move on to um, lemongrass. Lemongrass, <coughs> excuse me. Lemongrass is an oil that I use a lot for, and it works for a lot of different things. And I use it for one particular thing that I'll tell you about the most, but there are so many other ways that you can use it. And a lot of people love using this with cooking. So lemongrass is grown by family farmers in Southern India. During harvest time, farmers hike five miles up a steep mountain and work for roughly seven days to harvest a 100 acre plantation. It's harvested by hand using a sickle. Once it is harvested and gathered, the farmers walk the five miles back down the mountain, each carrying a lemongrass bundle on top of their head. It's used in Asian cuisine in soups, teas, and curries, as well as with fish, poultry, beef, and seafood. It grows in dense clumps up, um, that can grow six feet tall and four feet wide. Isn't that amazing? Um, it takes approximately 3.1 pounds of lemongrass to produce one 15 milliliter bottle. So that's not as much as some oils, but it's still a significant amount. And just looking at it, isn't it pretty? It is steam distilled from the leaves. Um, so if you pull these up, it, it almost looks like a green onion, an onion bulb on the bottom of it, but they just distill it from the leaves. So it is the oil of cleansing emotionally. Um, lemongrass is a po powerful cleanser of energy. It dispels the feelings of despondency, despair, and lethargy. Lemongrass helps people easily let go of old limiting beliefs, toxic injury, in not injuries, energies, and negativity. Lemongrass teaches individuals to move forward without hesitation. It acts, asks them to commit to a healing path where change is a regular occurrence. Lemongrass can also be a powerful tool in cleansing the energy within a house, room, or office space. It encourages individuals with hoarding tendencies to courageously let go of everything they lo no longer need. As individuals let go of past issues and stagnant energy, they have an increased ability to see situations with greater clarity. It has a powerful mission to assist in cleansing, to assist in cleansing physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Um, I've been in some situations um, in the last several years where it has been a very intense atmosphere. And and I learned about this first from Desiree Mangandog. But you can diffuse lemongrass and it will get rid of the negativity in your home. And you know when you walk into a room and you can just almost cut the air because it just you can just feel the tension and the stress and the negativity. Um, you can diffuse lemongrass and it will it will get rid of that. And one of the things that um, Desiree said is diffuse it while you're away at work. And when you come home, all that negative energy is going to be gone. So I, I can totally tell you that this works 1000%. And some people love the aroma of lemongrass. Some people don't. Depending on my mood, lots of times I will blend a citrus with it. I think that it would work really well to add some adaptive, a couple of drops of adaptive with it if you're diffusing it. So the negative emotions that it will combat are toxic or negative energy, despairing, holding on to the past, hoarding, darkness, and spiritual blindness. The positive properties is spiritual clarity, cleansing, non-attachment, simplicity, discerning, releasing what is no longer needed. The 
properties, the physical properties of it are it's anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, analgesic, um, anti-mutagenic, decongestant, regenerative, anti-rheumatic, antibacterial, antiseptic, an insect repellent, a revitalizer, a sedative, a tonic, and a vasodilator. Vasodilator means it helps increase your circulation. So some of the top uses, it's a natural deodorizer. So both cedarwood and um, lemongrass are natural deodorizers. Um, it is great for your skin um, health. It is a great benefit in helping your skin heal. You can add it to um, shampoos, conditioners, deodorants, soaps, and lotions. It's an effective cleanser with its properties of being antiseptic and astringent. It's um, a great um, oil, perfect for getting even and glowing skin. It is great for your hair health in that it doesn't necessarily help with regrowing uh, your hair, but it strengthens your hair follicles so you won't lose as much and they won't fall out as much. So that is a great, uh, that is a great benefit. Um, it is also a natural bug repellent. It is a stress reducer and sleep aid. It is a great muscle relaxer. It is known to detox the digestive tract, liver, kidneys, bladder, and pancreas. Because it works as a diuretic, um, consuming lemongrass will help you to flush harmful toxins out of your body. You can add it to your soup or to your tea. So lemongrass can be taken internally and it can be used all ways, all three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, it is a stomach protector and a gastric ulcer, um, not supported in supporting you heal from gastric ulcers. If you have head tension, it can help relieve the pain, pressure, or tension that causes your discomfort. Um, remember it is antibacterial. When you are not feeling well and you get really hot, um, lemongrass, remember to, you can consume lemongrass or you can put it, um, apply it to your feet or the back of your neck and it will help. It is supportive of your immune system. It um, reduces inflammation. It has great antioxidant effects. It is, um, it stimulates the mind and helps in combating convulsions, nervousness, um, vertigo, and other neuronal disorders. Um, some of those like when people get super um, forgetful when they get older, it will help in, it will help in dealing with those. Um, it can help relieve pain in muscles and joints. It is helpful in healing wounds. Um, it can irritate the skin, so test it on a small area of skin, dilute with fractionate coconut oil, avoid during pregnancy. Uh, so this is one of the ones where I used it for several days um, and it was just fine. And then I started to develop a sensitivity to it. And so I started diluting it and, and it was great. Um, so on this one, again, I'm going to be um, sharing this with you and I will get it out. Um, so that is the main things that I wanted to tell you about cedarwood and lemongrass. They are both wonderful oils.